And suddenly we're sitting on more terrorism data than even the government has. Because the United States really hadn't been that interested in terrorism. A little bit with the Oklahoma City bombing, but not much. And yeah. certainly not international terrorism. So suddenly there was this huge interest in terrorism and uh, we were sitting on a database that, um, that looked really relevant. But getting money to look at these, I mean, basically we had all this stuff in card boxes. It looks like big shoe boxes full of data. Yeah. And I had no money to turn it into a data set. And I started looking for money, but you'd think after 9-11 it would be easy, but it turns out that all of the bureaucracies were worried about, you know, like the Justice Department, which usually funds a lot of the stuff I've done, they were a little nervous that this new Homeland Security Center is going to snap up all of their interests. Mm -hmm. And the last thing, like Homeland Security was not really, they were more interested in, you know, things on the ground initially. So eventually Homeland Security got interested in setting up what they called centers of excellence. The idea was to bring universities more into terrorism research. And when they announced a, a, a center of excellence that was going to concentrate on social causes of terrorism, I said, oh, I've got this database. This is a way to get it funded. I got to do a lot more than that. You know, we ended up getting a much bigger team together and so on. But, but one of the projects that was funded by this center that we eventually established was a global terrorism database that still to this day is the most widely used um, unclassified database on terrorism. It's used pretty much by every country, United Nations, but even groups like Doctors Without Borders. Mm. Um, it's online if your uh, listeners want to take a look at it, if you just go to the START website and look at START GTD. Uh, Start all unclassified, you can download it yourself. And, uh, and it goes back and it has around 225,000 terrorist attacks from around the world. It runs from 1970 to about uh, 2021. Okay.